Hey guys, and welcome to another edition of Ask William. Today I will be unboxing the new special edition PlayStation DualShock controller version 2 in wave blue for the PlayStation 4 console. This controller is also available in magma red, so if you and your wife or your brother and sister want to have their own unique controller, I highly recommend getting one of these two options. Features on the version 2 model include a light bar that is now visible from the top, an integrated speaker, built-in motion sensors, all encased in a stylish matte finish. Okay, let's start the unboxing. And there it is, the DualShock 4 version 2 wireless controller in wave blue special edition designed for the Sony PlayStation 4 or Sony PlayStation Pro consoles. First impressions indicate that the packaging is solid and the controller is very well displayed. A little hanging hook on the top, view from the side, and on the back, some more information. This information includes a layout of all your buttons and their functionality, as well as a short description of the controller itself. On the side it tells you that the PlayStation is compatible with all PlayStation 4 models. The controller sits nicely indented in the casing. And upon further inspection, the PlayStation 4 DualShock controller seems very well designed. And even through the packaging, the color seems very vibrant. If you're a fan of blue, this model is definitely for you. Alright, time to open up the DualShock 4 controller by removing these two plastic seals on the side. There's one, turn it around, and there's the other. Remember safety first, so mind those fingers. Open the top to reveal the plastic casing in which the PlayStation 4 rests. Bend these two hinges to the side. Flip up this little piece of plastic. Flip the box on the side and just pull out the casing inside. Inside the box you will also find the instruction manual. If you've never used the PlayStation DualShock controller before, read these instructions. It'll give you an idea of how to connect your controller to your PlayStation and generally just how to take care of it. Let's remove the plastic casing from the top, revealing the beautiful wave blue motion controller. It's nice that Sony went with a matte blue and not with a gloss. So less light is reflected from it, so you get this very, very intense blue color. Plus, if you look carefully on the side, there's uh, two shades of blue. There's like a darker blue and the lighter blue, which is quite a nice touch. Overall, the weight distribution is pretty good and pretty much the same as the other version of the DualShock controller. The buttons seem very responsive. And another fact of the version 2 controllers are that the buttons are a bit more responsive and faster than the version 1 models. The scroll bar stands out a little bit more on this blue model and the control sticks are a little bit more responsive than on the version 1 model. Comparing the blue version with the original black version, you can see how dynamically different these two are. The black seems to have a little bit more of a glossy finish, while the matte blue really stands out. Definitely a great improvement. I highly recommend getting this option if you want to break the monotony of just having two black controllers. Side by side, they're exactly the same except, of course, for the color. Before using your DualShock controller, you'll have to charge it up. So just connect your USB cable to your USB port at the back and wait for the yellow light to start flashing. This is quite a nice touch. As you can see, your controller is charging without looking at the back. Please note that the yellow bar at the front of the controller means that this is definitely a version 2, not a version 1. The controller will take about 2 hours to fully charge and should give you about 7 to 8 hours playtime. Once your controller is fully charged, press the PlayStation button at the front. This will reveal the familiar blue bar at the front and at the back, which will turn on your PlayStation 4. This means that your controller is now ready for action. Well, there you go guys. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing of the new PlayStation DualShock Special Edition controller version 2 in wave blue. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to be notified about new videos, remember to hit that little bell icon. From me, William, catch you on the next one.